Hey guys, this is Ken from HowToHockey.com. Doing a review here on the HockeyShot.com shooting pad. And we've put through a rigorous test and we're going to show you just what to do to get the best out of your game with this board. So here's Jeremy to give you some information. Hey guys, this is Jeremy from How To Hockey. And what we're going to do is a quick review of this board. Uh, basically I'll just show you right now, it's a good size. And I like that because you can stick handle on it and shoot off of it, so dual purpose. Also compared to other um, shooting pads, it's fairly thick. So you have a long lifespan out of this thing. It's really durable. Um, which I really like because once again you're going to be able to use it for a long time. The other thing I like is this handle right here because it makes it more portable. I have used bigger pads without the handles and it's nearly impossible to move them. So I like that about this. You can pick it up and take it to a nice shooting area like this. So now we're going to show you what we can do with it. You can see it slides really nicely. It doesn't really come up. I mean if you're on the cement when you're stick handling, you're flipping around a lot. You don't want that, right? So that is exactly why you want to get one of these shooting pads. A lot less friction, the puck slides nicely, and it's really close to actually stick handling on ice. For shooting it's great because it's a nice smooth surface. It's going to protect the bottom of your blade. If you're shooting off of this, before no time your blade is going to be about that, that thick. It's no good for you and you have to buy new sticks. So it's going to actually save you money for having one of these if you do a lot of shooting. And also, the good thing is it's nice and long. So you get a full wrist shot, you can bring it right across. So that's the other thing, it's nice and long and it's uh, really smooth, it's going to protect your stick. And the next thing is stick handling, I'll show you how to do that. There are a few different ways that you can use this board for stick handling. Width wise, it's good for moving back and forth and practicing your big movements and your quick little just dribbling the puck. Also if you have a few pucks lined up like this, you can practice some toe drags, just bring it in and out. All right. And you can also do the toe drag lengthwise if you want to be, do a big one. Get this puck out of here. Really practice moving the puck up and pulling it back. So it gives you lots of room to work with. I just want to show you some general wear and tear that's been on this board. Now we've taken about a thousand shots on this board. You can see that there is no scratches. What we have here is all superficial. The puck still moves just fine across the board. It's still like it's regular ice. You can see it's still really smooth. Still nice and slippery. There's barely any friction right there. It hasn't become sticky at all. So you can see that you're going to get the same consistency out of this board from when you buy it to long into its lifespan. So if you head over to howtohockey.com, we have a coupon for our fans. And that's just our way of saying thanks for checking out our articles. And you also get a great deal on awesome training products like this from hockeyshot.com. So check out our articles, grab the coupon, and go pick one of these up. It's going to improve your stick handling and your shooting big time. Thanks a lot, guys.